So hi friends, this is Amit and you are watching my channel Information and Educational Video. So in this video, I will talk about JOSA Counseling 2021. That is the complete cutoff analysis. So here I will provide you the rank versus expected triple IT and JFTI up to the sixth round. As you all know, the fourth round of JOSA Counseling is already done, and I have already provided you the similar type of video for IITs as well as for NIT also. What you can expect up to the last round. So here I will try to provide you the rank versus expected triple IT and JFTI. What you can get up to the sixth round because as you also know in fifth and sixth round there will be a huge change in the cutoff the cutoff because the different student will take different type of action uh, during this period so here i will try to consider all those factors and i will try to provide you what you can expect up to the last round and here i will consider all type of a student that is general aws obc sc st that is all type of category and I will talk about for all the branches and also I will talk about top 5, top 10 or any lower uh, triple IT or GFTI as well so that you can estimate yourself which type of college you are going to get. So if you are first to my channel please try to subscribe this channel so that, so that you will get all type of information regarding the JOSA counseling, CSAP counseling and other counseling other entrance exam also in this channel only. And one more thing I would like to inform you that as you all know there will be a CSAP counseling after JOSA counseling so if your rank is little bit high that is you are not getting the seat through JOSA counseling then you should target the CSAP counseling there you will have the maximum chances so for that if you want counseling guidance or for any other counseling such as Jack Delhi, Jack Chandigarh, MST CET or Comet K KCET because I am regularly following the other counseling also such as Comet K or KCET so for that also you can contact me through Instagram or WhatsApp number once you register with me I will guide you for everything from now till your admission is done counseling doesn't mean only choice filling it also means what to choose what not to choose because decision making is one of the most important thing that you have to do now because you are going to take the decision of your career so whether you should go with this branch or that branch because different students have different type of personal interests and different type of option also for joining a college so all those things we will have a separate discussion once you register with me so if you want you can contact me through instagram or whatsapp number available in the description box so let's start this video so here is the rank versus expected triple it first i will consider triple it then i will consider the gfti so please try to watch the video till the end so that you will have the complete information so here is the triple IT for all type of uh, categories that is, that is if you are looking for top 5 uh, triple IT with CSC branch then your rank should be under 19,000 and 24,000 for male and female and if you are from EWS then it should be 3.5 and 5.5 thousand that is the category EWS rank and for OBC it should be 9 and 11 thousand for SC 6 and 8 thousand and for ST 3 and 4 thousand will be the expected cutoff up to the last round that is the sixth round and before going forward for this video I would like to inform you that this uh, these are the expected cutoff for only those students who have done the counseling very carefully that means you have how uh, you have done the choice filling and choice arrangement in a correct order but if you haven't done it then you might not get the uh, get the seat if and even if the cutoff go higher also because i know so many students who have done the mistake but particularly the student who have taken the help of any experienced person or who have all type of knowledge so the student will get the benefit of uh, of the higher cutoff in the fifth or sixth round because I have done the counseling for so many a student and many a student already have got the seat in fourth round because in fourth round cutoff has changed so so many a student have got the seat who, who we are not expecting the good seat but they have got the seat and they will expect more better seat in the fifth or sixth round so this is the value of the better counseling yeah. that's, that's why right. I, I repeat this statement do your counseling very carefully once you, once you do any type of mistake you might lose your two years of hard work and no one can help you later once you do mistake because i know so many students who have done the mistake in choice filling and choice arrangement now they are regretting because nothing can be changed now so the cutoff that i am providing through this video is applicable only to those students who have done the counseling very carefully and if you have done the mistake then there uh, there is another chance to rectify those mistake in the CSAP round so for that you can contact me or you can contact any other experienced person who have the experience of the counseling because in, co in counseling experience matter the most so that's why it is advisable if your rank is little bit higher than you or that you are not getting the seat through uh, JOSA counseling or if you have done the mistake in JOSA counseling so that you have to do the CSAP counseling very carefully so that you can save your one academic year otherwise you have to take the drop and your one academic year will be lost so it is advisable to take the help of any experienced person if you don't have i am here to help you once you contact me through instagram or whatsapp number i will guide you for everything from now till your admission is done for all the counseling whatever you will do including ccf counseling so let's continue this video that is for top 5 ec if you are from general then 27 and 33000 and for rest category you can check sidewise otherwise video will be so long so for top 10 triple it csc the cutoff for general student will be 23 to uh, 23 and 28 thousand for male and female 
and for other category you can check sidewise and for top 10 uh, triple IT with EC branch general cutoff will be 34 and 39,000 for male and female student and for top 10 CSE 28 and 33,000 for male and female candidate and for, for top 20 triple IT with EC branch the cutoff for general student will be 40 and 44,000 so one more thing I would like to tell you that already I have, I have repeated in my previous video for triple IT and NITs because I have provided the similar type of video for that uh, college also that is IIT and NITs so you can check that video in the button as well as in the description box that is the CS related branch cutoff has gone lower than the previous year and the cutoff for other branches than CS branch have gone up that's that also I am considering in this video because, because I have taken the difference from the round 2 cutoff of the JOSA counseling and also from the different type of a student what I have got the information uh, through through the fourth round allotment of the JOSA counseling 2021 because so many students are registered with me so I am regularly talking to them so that I, I am able to know the cutoff trend that is going on for this year and after applying all those things I am providing you this video so that you can estimate yourself what you can get up to the last round. So next if you talk about for any uh, any triple IT that is any lower triple IT with CS brand then your rank should be 38 and 43,000 and for any triple IT with EC brand then your rank should be 48 and 54,000 if your rank is higher than that you can expect the college through CSAP counseling but in JOSA counseling you might not get the seat but only if you do the counseling very carefully once you do any type of mistake in CSAP counseling there will be a risk of losing the money as well as your previous seat as well as your one academic year as well so it is advisable to take the help of any experienced person in the CSAP counseling because that is the most important counseling for a student and that is a little bit risky as well that's why I'm advising you if you want you can contact me anytime through Instagram or WhatsApp number available in the description box so now let's talk about the rank versus expected GFTI so here is the information for all type of category so for top 5 GFTI with CS branch if you are from general your ranks would be 20,000 and for other category you can check sidewise and for top 5 uh, GFTI with EC branch your ranks would be 35,000 and uh, top 5 GFTI with any possible branch such as biotechnology or civil mechanical then your ranks would be 60,000 and for top 10 GFTI with CS branch your ranks would be 50,000 so, so once again I am repeating that if your rank is little bit higher than the ex expected cutoff that I am providing in this video for the 6th round of JOSA counseling then you can maximize your chances by doing the CSAP counseling and there you will have the chances because there uh, because in CSAP counseling there will be less number of a student as compared to JOSA counseling because the student who have got the seat in JOSA counseling they will not participate due to the risk that they might lose the previous seat as well and many student whose rank is very low they lose their hope and they are, they are taking the draw for next year so it is advisable to do it so that you can maximize your chances and take the advantage of CSAP counseling because every year I have seen oh, the student who have done it very correctly they have got the seat at very high rank as well so if you want you can contact me so that I will do everything for you so that you will get the best out of your rank through CSAP counseling and if you are doing other counseling as well such as Comet K or KCET or Jack Daly MSTCT for that also I will guide you once you register with me so let's continue this video that is if you want top 10 GFTI with EC brand then your ranks will be 56,000 and for other category you can check sidewise for top 10 GFTI with any possible branch then your ranks should be at at least 70,000 or less than that a lower GFTI with CSC branch that means you just want to get the CS branch through this JOSA counseling then your ranks would be at least 60,000 and that too if you have done the counseling very correctly. correctly that means you have provided all type of choices and all type of choices in right order that is also an important thing so, so these are the cutoff applicable to only those students who have done it correctly who have done the mistake in the counseling they might not get the seat so here is the next one that is lower GFTI with any possible branches that means you just want to get a seat through this JOSA counseling that means any possible seat in any college then your rank should be at least 80,000 or less than that for general candidate and for other you can check sidewise. So these are the rank versus expected data for triple IT and GFTI college up to the 6th round. I have already provided you the video for IIT college similar to this video and for NIT as well you can check all those videos in the i button as well as in the description box. So thanks for watching this video. Video, please try to subscribe this channel and one more time I would like to inform you that if you want counseling guidance for CSF counseling or any other counseling that you or that you are doing this year you can contact me through Instagram or WhatsApp number once you register with me I will discuss everything with you starting from the choice filling whether you should go with this branch that branch because every student have different type of mindset so all those things will be considered so that so that you can get into the right college for this year for your BTEC course so thanks again for watching this video please try to subscribe